we can try to solve a homogeneous second order linear differential equation with the ansatz y of x equals e to the power rx. This yields the characteristic equation for r. But what happens if d equals zero? In that case, we have only one solution and we need two independent solutions. So you will learn how to do to deal with this if the discriminant d equals zero in this video. So what do we do? We use an example. So here we have our second order equation. We use our familiar ansatz. We plug it in. We get our characteristic equation r minus 2 squared equals 0. So we have one solution, r equals 2. So we have one solution, e to the power 2x. But we need two independent solutions. So I cannot pick another e to the power 2x, because then my y1 and y2 would be two uh, dependent solutions. I have to find another solution which is independent. In order to find it, uh, we will use following idea. We use the idea of an integrating factor. You may have seen the integrating factor for first order differential equations. This idea is much more general, so we have the idea of an integrating factor for many more problems. Here, the, in this e to the power 2x, which we are going to use, is also called an integrating factor. In the following way, what we do, we have this e to the power x, 2x, which came from our first solution, um, and, then, and then we say, well, let's try to find the solution y of x, which is in fact a product of this e to the power 2x times some unknown function u of x. That is the idea. For sure, u of x equals a constant will be a solution to our problem, because then we just get our y1 back. But maybe we will find some more. Maybe we will find eventually a second function. So let's do it. In order to use it, we have to compute y prime and y double. So that's what we're going to do. So y prime equals use the product rule, u prime times the e power plus leave the u and differentiate the e power, 2 times u times e to the power 2x. And we can uh, take the exponent out of the brackets. So that's our u prime. Uh, sorry, that's our y prime. And then we also need y double. So y double equals differentiate this rubbish over here. We get u double plus 2 times u prime times the e power plus leave this rubbish and differentiate the exponential, which gives us 2 times e to the power 2x, so the second term. And then combine everything and uh, take the exponential out of the brackets, so you get u double plus 4u prime plus 4u times the exponential. So there we go. Then we can plug everything uh, in the uh, e e e in the differential equation. So here goes the y double, here goes the y prime, here goes the y. And we clean up some of the mess because we see a uh, 4u double and minus 4u double, we see a 4u a minus 8u and a plus 4u, so all of them cancel out. And the only thing which is left is the u double times the exponential equals zero. Exponential is never zero, so u double equals zero. Well, that's an easy differential equation. We can solve it by integrating twice. So first we integrate once, we get u prime is some constant, and then we integrate again, u equals uh, c2 times x plus some other constant c1, and there we have our function y of x, our solution, equals u of x times this exponential. And now we observe, we have our full solution already. And now from this full solution, we observe what our two independent solutions are. Because we have now c1 times our first independent solution, plus c2 times our second independent solution. So our first independent solution is again e to the power 2x, as expected. And we observe that our second independent solution then happens to be x times e to the power 2x. So there we have our second independent solution. And this works in general in the case where the discriminant equals 0. So our first independent solution equals e to the power rx. 
And for our second independent solution, we again have e to the power a rx, but then times x. So that will be our second independent solution. So how does that work in an explicit example? If we have this uh, second order differential equation over here, you see the discriminant equals 12 squared minus 4 times 4 times 9 equals 0. So we get f again d equals 0. So the r equals uh, minus b over 2a. Uh, the term with the discriminant is dropping out. So we get a minus 12 over 8 equals minus 3 over 2. So then our two independent solutions are exponent minus 3 over 2 times x and x times exponent e to the power minus 3 over 2 times x. So our y of x equals c1 uh, times the exponent plus c2 times x times this exponent. And there we have our solution in the case where the discriminant d equals 0.